another example, the force of 500 newton is the resultant of the forces P and 260 newton acting as shown in the figure. So letter A, which of the following gives the value of the angle theta that the 500 newton makes with the horizontal. And letter B, give the value of the um, alpha and P. Okay, for letter A, simple lang naman yan. So letter A, lagay natin. Hinahanap lang dyan is yung theta. So, anong gagawin natin? Theta with this along with resultant natin. So, we have tangent. Theta is equal to 4 over 3. So, we have theta, theta tangent inverse. Now, 4 over 3. So, theta is equal to 53.13 degrees. So, ganyan lang kasi pin letter A natin. How about letter B? Letter B give the value of angle, ito po yun, alpha, and then yung P natin. So, that is a known. So, meron naman tayong R dito, which is Rx, is equal your summation forces X also. So, check natin. So, we have 500. Ano yung horizontal nito? 3 all over 5. Ano yung may summation forces along X axis natin? So, we have P cosine of alpha plus 260 Okay, kunin natin horizontal, 12, and then 13. So, this is 500 times 3 divided by 5, that is 300, is equal to P cosine alpha plus 260 times 12 all over 13, so that is 240. So, ito, lipat natin, or ito, lipat natin dyan, so 300 minus 40 is 60 is equal to your P cosine alpha, or roughly, ayusin natin, P cosine of alpha is equal to 60. So, this is your equation 1. Next, we have Ry is equal to summation Fy. So, we have 500 times, we have, check natin to, ano yung along y natin, 4 over 5 is equal to P sine of alpha minus 260 Check natin, we have 5 all over 13. So, we have 500 multiplied by 4 all over 5, so that is 400, is equal to P sine of alpha. So, 260 times 5 divided by 13 is 100. So, we have negative 100. So, ililipad ko dito, it will become positive. So, we have P sine alpha is equal to 500. So, this is your equation 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin, we have sine all over cosine. So, para maging tangent. So, lagay natin dito. So, equation 2 divided by equation 1. So, pwede naman gawin natin yun. Okay? So, we have P sine of alpha is equal to 500. Okay? Divided by lagay natin yung P cosine of alpha is equal to 60. So, matatanggal yung P, so magkakaroon tayo ng tangent. So, we have tangent of alpha is equal to 500 all over 60. So, alpha tangent inverse of 500 all over 60 is equal to so, that is 83.16 degrees. Okay, so meron na tayo alpha. So, by means of equation, so lagay natin, in equation, in equation 1 tayo, substitute natin yung value ng alpha. So, we have P cosine alpha is equal to 60. So, P ang kailangan ko dyan. So, 60 divided by cosine of 83.16. So, therefore, the answer is, 503.79 so that is the value for your P so R is okay so P is 503.79 and your alpha is 83.16 so that is the final answer